この世界で友情から預かったこの命を俺は君につなぐ Hello In the previous unit review video I mistook the SS3 crossing skill as a combination skill and for that I apologize for the confusion The video should deserve more dislikes than likes But I am surprised by the positive response of the video. So thank you all. And also, thanks to Savage Striker for raising this important information. So, for those who don't know, Crossing Skill is a new skill that allows two units to activate their SS3 simultaneously. It was introduced in game during last August, which was a time period where I stopped playing this game. Basically, it requires two characters who has crossing skill in the party, and activating one unit SS3 will display a red marker only on the other unit's portrait with crossing skill. This red marker will remain for a short period of time until the skill window appears, so players must switch to that unit immediately, unlike the basic switch or acceleration skill. In the previous video, I mentioned the Persona units having more combo hits when two units performing their combination skill. Apparently, that was the additional attack that is part of the crossing skill effect. Crossing skill also comes with crossing link, which is triggered after crossing skill is activated. Currently, there are three types of link. Attack link, MP link and critical link. For the Persona units, their crossing link is the MP link. And for the Kirito that I just pulled from the Dual Blade banner, his crossing link is the attack link. In my opinion, this crossing skill is just another one of the new mechanics that define the meta of the game, and is certainly a new power creep in ranking events. At this point, we can expect another game-breaking mechanic that perhaps outclass crossing skill, So I guess save your memory diamonds until then? One thing that I would strongly suggest to the developers, is to allow existing 4 and 5 star units to have accessibility to crossing skill, or even the newer skills that may be introduced in the future, as upgrades, since these units can be usable in other contents like the floor clearing events. Or, they can be seen as a weaker alternative to the current 6 star units that players may not possess, since they have lower base stats in comparison. As for the Persona Banner, from what I can see, having two Persona Banner units will be easier in gameplay, in terms of using their SS3S as often as possible, since the units can help each other regain MP quickly. Furthermore, they will be dealing more damage over time while taking lesser damage, thanks to the mitigation buffs which helps with increasing the combo count, without needing to worry about being attacked. This Persona banner does have a good set of skills attached to their units. One slight disadvantage is that they are of different elements. In conclusion, with crossing skill, it helps players to save a lot of time killing bosses, especially in ranking events where time is crucial. So I hope I did manage to put up a good explanation of the crossing skill effects, and if you did enjoy this video, remember, to like and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next video.